Hey everyone, ever wanted to craft some of the most powerful potions in Minecraft? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to get Dragon's Breath and turn it into lingering potions. Perfect for setting traps or just looking awesome. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So, how do you get Dragon's Breath? Well, there's only one way. You've got to collect it from the Ender Dragon. When the dragon spits out its purple fireballs, those clouds you see are Dragon's Breath. To collect it, you just need an empty bottle. As you scoop it up, the cloud disappears. Pretty cool, right? Here's a little tip. Bring lots of bottles when you're fighting the Ender Dragon. You can collect Dragon's Breath like a vacuum cleaner. Just keep clicking to fill up all your bottles. And guess what? While you're busy collecting, the Ender Dragon won't be able to hurt you with that breath anymore. You're practically invincible to it. Now that you've got your Dragon's Breath, let's talk about what you can actually do with it. First off, you'll need to make some splash potions. Here's how. Put three water bottles in your brewing stand, add blaze powder to fuel it, and then throw in some nether wart to get an awkward potion. Now, if you're making, say, a regeneration potion, add a gas tier to the mix. Next, to turn that into a splash potion, you'll add gunpowder. But here's where the magic happens. This is when you add dragon's breath. Put it on top, and boom, you've got yourself a lingering potion. These are special potions that stay on the ground and keep their effects for a while. It's perfect for area control or setting up traps during a fight. Quick pro tip, you can also use lingering potions to craft tipped arrows. So, if you like playing from a distance, these arrows will give you an extra edge in battle. What lingering potion will you craft first? A poison trap? or maybe a healing zone for your teammates? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. And that's how you get and use Dragon's Breath in Minecraft. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more Minecraft tips and tricks. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.